Hello, mashed potatoes. Welcome back to another episode of Miniature Mashup. I know, pretty quick turnaround. Didn't know I'd be making a second video, but I've got to react to what's very big news in the world of miniatures. Looks like we're getting another edition of Warhammer 40k, and of, of course we are. It's already been three whole years since the last one. Let's watch the announcement video together, shall we? Hello and good day. My name is James Workshop, and I am here to tell you, yes, you, nine great things about the new edition of Warhammer 40,000. So right out of the gate, we get fireworks. Fireworks, because that's how desperate Games Workshop is to spin a new edition as something to celebrate. Yay, we finally get to buy the same $100 book of fluff we've already bought eight times before. But it's totally worth it for the 10 pages of rules, two pages of which might be new. Oh, happy day, I get to throw my old codexes into a landfill. Lucky me, my army isn't competitive anymore, somebody pinch me. If this new edition is such a great thing, why do you need to sell it with this slimy fictional pitch man? It might be a little more genuine if you had a real person who works on the game tell us why this new edition needs to happen. Because uh, James Workshop over here, he seems like he'd be just as happy to hype up one of Jigsaw's traps from the Saw film. Look at these fantastic shackles, the key to which is inside this awesome bucket of razor blades. Oh, and uh, extra points off for using the same pun as Bored James, James Rolfe's least popular character. At least James Rolfe's name is actually James. This guy's name is probably Oliver. Now strap yourself in and let us begin. I love it when it rhymes. You're a real Snoop Doggy Dog, Oliver. 1. Warhammer 40,000 has been polished to perfection. Thousands of hours of feedback and innovation have refined the game you love into a gaming experience as smooth as a Necron's shiny head. What a ridiculous claim. They had thousands of hours of feedback by the time 3rd edition came around. We finally got it right, you guys. It took us nine editions and three decades, but we finally figured out how to make this game fun. Anyone with a section of a brainstem larger than a thimble knows that pumping out new editions every three to five years is an integral part of Games Workshop's business model. Some armies get weaker, some armies get stronger, sometimes vehicles completely dominate, and sometimes they ain't so good. This ensures that competitive players have to keep changing out their armies and buying new models if they want to stay competitive. Everyone knows this, but they're still gonna try and sell us this nonsense. Two, the most immersive system for narrative play ever. All right, this change is long overdue. Many of the spinoff 40K games like Necromunda and Battlefleet Gothic already do this. I'm pretty sure they did stuff like this in old first edition Rogue Trader and flirted with it in other editions, but uh, better late than never, I guess. Three, everyone loves command points, so now everyone gets more. Yeah, the reason everyone loves command points is because it's one of the few tactical decisions left in the game. Otherwise, gameplay is determined by which objectives are drawn, and specialized units just do what they're good at, and non-specialized units just try to stop the specialized units. That's the whole game these days. Four, tanks are back on track. Your armored behemoth's been getting bogged down by pesky horrid grots or squishy gaunts. No more, tanks can shoot in combat. Blast foes at point-blank range and keep on rolling. Nine, aircraft take flight. Soar across the battlefield, ignore intervening models, and return for another attack run. Time to reverse some of the nerfing that vehicles underwent in 8th edition in order to sell some more vehicle models. I'm sure they'll get nerfed again in the next edition, because that's how they do. Five, terrain's been rebuilt from the ground up. Want to defend a building getting bonuses while you do? Absolutely. Want to sneak up on your opponent using terrain to block their line of sight? Want to set up the table in a way that guarantees your opponent feels cheated? The non-standardized terrain of 40k makes me skeptical about placing too much emphasis on it. I think it was 7th edition where units could hunker down inside fortifications. I found that crap super annoying. Six. Warhammer 40,000 at every size of game. From lunch break combat patrols with your new army to crushing your friends beneath the iron boots of your full collection. We have balanced the scales. Finally, I was getting so sick of playing games set at 2,576 and a half points. I don't know why every edition before this insisted that every battle be 2,576 and a half points. We can finally play with different sized armies. That's gonna be just awesome. Tactical power at your fingertips. Strategic reserves have changed, allowing you to strike your enemies from all angles. 
think you're the cleverest general among your friends? Time to prove it, sunshine. Hit him where it hurts. Yeah, this is also not a new thing. I distinctly remember rolling my aspiring champion squad and their rhino from reserves onto the table from the sides and behind enemy lines. I don't remember if it was because they were night lords. I'm pretty sure it was just the way they did it in that edition. Eight. Big guns never tire, and firepower feels great. Explosive weapons deal maximum hits to hordes as they swarm across the battlefield, so bring your favorite guns to the party and get the job done. It's time to have a blast. And yet another attempt to mitigate one of the more radical changes of this last edition, the removal of templates. Is it not easy enough to annihilate mobs with the gun line already? I feel like it is. They're gonna make it even easier. Great. Sorry folks, not plussed by this. Every edition change is a money grab, and this one is no different. I'm not on board, I'm certainly not excited, and if you want to buy my old codexes and rulebook, the link for that is in the description below. They're in great shape, I've barely used them. As always guys, like and subscribe, support the channel. Uh, this is Miniature Mashup signing out. Tarragon.